Hi, my name is Raphael and I'm taking the course CS50's Introduction to Game Development and this video is about Assignment 1, Flappy Bird, the Reward Update and I will show you really quick um, what my solution for this assignment is. So, uh, basically we have four goals in this assignment. I'll just go through them quickly. Um, first one is we need to randomize the gap between the pipes, so between two pipes, the lower and the upper one, so uh, the vertical space, because um, until now it is hard coded. Then we need to randomize the interval at which pipe, pairs of pipes spawn, so basically the x axis, so the distance between the pipe pairs. Then um, we need to implement a kind, a kind of reward if a player reaches a certain score and we need three of them. And last but not least uh, we had to implement a pause feature where um, the player can press P or some other key um, and the game pauses, sound plays and the music stops and of course if he presses the key again, the game should resume at the state um, he left off before. So let's jump into the code. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, so first, look. Uh, let's look uh, at the solution for randomizing the gap height. And as we see here, the gap height is 90, so it's hard coded, but in this line where we assign the lower pipe, um, I just added some randomness. So the gap height is now between 85 and 120. So figured out that this works quite well. Good. Next goal or next solution um, was for the goal um, where we want to randomize the distance between pairs of pipes, so the spawn time randomized. Therefore I uh, created a local variable and um, the variable is initialized with math.random which returns a floating point number between 0 and 1. Then this is multiplied to um, yeah, times 1.5 that means that the maximum number now is 1.5 and not 1 and then it's shifted with 1.2 because we don't want pipes to spawn up on each other. Okay, and basically this this variable spawn dt just um, uh, replaces the number two we got here, so the two seconds. And if the timer elapses or is greater than the spawn dt, the a pair of pipes spawn, and then uh, spawn dt is reinitialized again. Okay, uh, let's look at the score reward update. Therefore, I I um, I added three images of medals, so brass, silver, and gold. And depending on the score, the player gets the corresponding medal. So equal or higher than twenty gold, greater or equal than ten silver, greater or equal than five brass. So pretty easy, but it looks good, nevertheless. And also a small text is displayed. Good, and now look at the last um, feature we implement. I implemented in this assignment, which is the pause feature. Uh, sorry, oh yeah, I found it here. Good, maybe a um, bit of background info to this. I, first I um, started to create a pause state and a transition between play state and pause state, but um, I ran into some issues because in the pause state you can't monitor the um, yeah the, the pair of pipes which are, which are on the screen because it, this is a local variable of the play state, and <coughs> and they are also not rendered in a pause state and um, yeah if this should work then you need to like pass everything 
which you have in the play state to the pause state and render it also but not moving and so on and so on and this um, was quite complex in my opinion therefore I just implemented the pause feature in the play state so basically if the key P is pressed then uh, it is checked if scrolling is true if it is then the game is currently not in the pause mode um, and I said scrolling to false, the music pauses and a sound plays and if he's already paused, the game is already paused, then scrolling is true again and the exit sound plays and the music resumes. Yeah, that's pretty much all. And of course uh, there's some text uh, rendered um, so that you know that you're in the pause state basically or the game is paused. And of course I need to, I had to add like an if statement above uh, the update uh, functions because uh, we don't want the pipes and the bird moving. So yes. Good, uh, let's hop into the game. And then we hopefully see all the features. I'm gonna fly through some pipes first and then... Okay, I can pause here already, so we see the pause works. And we can also see that the gap height is randomized, so this one is uh, bigger than... this gap is bigger than this one. And also the spawn distance of the pipes is different, so this one is much smaller. Okay, let's resume again try to get a medal. Should work. Good, we have already five. Maybe I should stand. Okay, I died. And um, we got score six, six. Congratulations, you received a bronze medal. And we got a little bronze medal here. So that's the reward feature. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and See you in the next assignment. Bye.